Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can use concatenation in a report to link together sentences with access fields. So on the screen, I've got a report which I've already completed, which is pulling in some narrative. Well done, you have the following scores. And then the actual fields, the scores from the fields coming through for each of these subjects. Now, this report is based on this table. So it's basically putting this into a printable report. And again, I could create a query on this. It would just do it for each person. But what I want to do is just recreate this report and show you how I did that. So first of all, create report design. Get yourself into the property sheet and make sure it is looking at the correct table in this example. So courses, that one. And once you do that, you can then see the fields. Now, I do want to do some grouping. So I've got a group and outline up there. So add a group and each student. Let's do student ID. And then I can just bring student ID across into the header. I don't need the label because it's just going to give their names. I'll just move that and format that to be bold and red and then you just have a look at that to see what that looks like click on view so that's what that's going to be each person is going to have that and then go back into design now to do sentences with fields to link the two things together you need to use this option here the a b button so i'm in the controls area in report design so a b you draw yourself a rectangle and you can get rid of the border for this afterwards. I so don't need a label. You must start with equals. So equals. And then anything you put in in text, it's got to go inside quotes. So whatever you do, it's got to go inside quotes and end quotes. So quotes, open quotes, end. Um, in fact, I'll just do the same sentence. Well done. These are your scores space and then quotes now to link that to a field so i need to link that to each of these each of these fields maths english german french etc you must use the and sign which i'm going to call a glue point so the glue point is the and like that and then you can refer to the field before i do that though i've just missed out the first bit scores i want maths you need that label first and then you glue in it and then i'll do the field so the field has to go in square brackets so the field's maths square brackets that's okay let's have a quick look at that well done these are your scores maths 67 okay well i want that to come down a line so let's see if i can do that one so to come down a line i'm just going to Get myself after that quote and do control enter. Let's see if that does it. I might have to bring the quote down. Yeah, that didn't do it. So I need to bring the actual, the whole thing down. So I'm getting there. That's brought 67. So I want this word down as well. So I'll get in front of that. I want the title coming down. So control and enter, that'll bring that down. And then I need to bring this back up a bit. And then a space there. So you do have to spend a little time sorting that out. So that's looking good. So now I can do the rest of it. So after that, I want to carry on. So I'm going to do another and sign and then open quotes for English. So I want English to come next. So English. space it's important to put the spaces you can go back afterward to put the spaces and then the and sign and then english in square brackets in exactly the same way as you did the maths one like so now again i want to bring this down so let's just try control enter there and let's see if that comes down i've got an extra space i don't want that now let's have a look math 67 english you can see it's doing it for each person Go back into it. I'll just do one more so you get the idea. So I need the glue sign at the end and then an open quote 
I'll do control enter there. So the third one is German. So German space close quotes and and then you're doing the field German like so in square brackets and then have a quick look at that one and you can see how it's filtering down for each of these now what I want to do is just go into design and close this box up a little bit and bring this up like so and then have a quick look so now it's coming in a bit tighter probably need to move those across but if I add these extra fields in this box now if I push that to the edge actually push this up to the top there if I add those extra fields in this box so if I just add French because it's going to be not enough space showing if I do the and sign and then open quotes and do control enter and then French space and square bracket French square bracket so now let's have a look at this so that's slightly truncated there and it is truncated there so I don't want that to happen so I need to change properties so that can grow this box can grow if I go back into design click on this get myself into properties format and then all the way down the bottom there you've got can grow I'm going to put that to yes and then have a look so you now you can see it fits in and every time you add a new course that will just move down so I'll just add one more after French I'll do the glue point and the quote control enter so this is next one's going to be history history space and sign and then is history in square brackets like so so if I quick have a look at that so you see it's expanded this box so it has moved it down so you can still see everything so this is just um, a very quick video of how you can use concatenation in a report to get what you want you can also use concatenation in a query as well before you even bring it into a report so that might be an option but that's all i want to talk about on this one how you can join text strings with field information using concatenation so thank you for your time hopefully that was of use i'll see you on the next one